Hello ladies and gents, this is Kano from the Gamer Section and welcome to a brand new episode of the Gamer Section's Daily News. Development on the game is in its early stages right now and Massive are currently recruiting staff for the project. Julian Greitley, creative director of the division, will lead up on the game, which is being developed on the studio Snowdrop Engine. Ubisoft CEO Yves Gamat, I'm sorry if I uttered the word, I'm sorry, says it will be an original story and will be different from anything that has been done before. Star Wars Galaxy is an amazing source of motivation for our teams to innovate and push the boundaries of our medium, says Gamat. Building new worlds, characters, and stories that will become lasting parts of the Star Wars lore is an incredible opportunity for us and we are excited to have our Ubisoft Massive Studio working closely with Lucasfilm's games to create an original Star Wars adventure that is different from anything that we have seen have done before. I apologize. This might come as a surprise to some considering that the fact that EA acquired the Star Wars license from Disney eight years ago and the deal was supposedly to run for at least a year. It seems the exclusively terms of the deal of that deal has have ended prematurely. Though Disney says EA will continue to be an important partner for as far as Star Wars is concerned. EA has been and will continue to be a very strategic and important partner for us now. And going forward, Son Shaptao, Senior Vice President of Global Games and Interactive Experiences at Disney told Wired, but we feel like there's room for others. EA said a few months back that it would double down on its Star Wars license. They positioned Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order as the first game in a new series and a and work on a sequel scenes to be underway as well. But does the half announce that Machine Games developer of the new Wolfenstein titles is working on a new Indiana Jones game. The studio is working on a title in collaboration with the resurgent Lucasfilm's games label. Meanwhile, Bethesda Game Studios head and director of the Fallout and Elder Scrolls franchises, Todd Howard, will serve as executive producer on the project. No details have been revealed on the game, but Bethesda have shared a very brief teaser showing Indiana Jones iconic fedora and whip with the serious recognizable music playing in the background. The announcement tweet confirmed that the game will have an original story though, but as they also said, it, it'll be some time before new, more new details on the game are shared. Machine games are probably going to focus on getting Wolfenstein 3 done first. Of course, no target launch window is mentioned, while we also don't know what platforms the game will be releasing for. The latter will be a particularly pertinent question potent question, especially with Microsoft's acquisition of Bethesda and in turn Machine Games and presumably this license. Hangar 13 is currently looking to recruit multiple developers across its studios. The listing for the position of senior writer suggests that the game might be set in either a fantasy or sci-fi world with an ad stating, you love stories, you love consuming them, you love creating them, and you love dis dissecting them, in appreciation for multiple genres, not just fantasy and sci-fi if is preferred. Meanwhile, the ad for principal gameplay animator states that the studio is looking to hire someone who can create stunning animation for humans and non-human characters. That final bit in particular definitely seems to suggest a fantasy or science fiction setting as well. Finally, it also seems like the game will put quite a bit of emphasis on online elements and gameplay mechanics. If the listing for lead online designer is anything to go by, the ad reads, ultimately, you will report directly to the game director and be responsible for leading the overall design efforts for our online features to include defining matchmaking requirements and ag algorithms. Holding the vision for major online features such as guilds and live or live events will with wor working with the systems team to ensure online play tuning and balance and collaborating with art and design leads to put together future content roadmaps.
with Arcane Studios, Lion Team currently at work on the upcoming Death Loop. The studio is going to be in the limelight very soon once again, but there are also plenty of questions about what the developers Austin Studio, who developed the sounded and pray is working on next. Recently, Arcane Austin Harvey Smith who created the Dishonored series said that the studio is working on a new unannounced project and now we might have some new tidbits on what the game is. As spotted by Tumar222 on Twitter, the linked profile of Lisa Charche, Charche, who is a senior VFX artist at Arcane Austin, mentions the affordable mention unannounced game along with some new details the game is apparently a fantasy title and is being built on the unreal unreal engine 4 razor has unveiled a new gaming tree that will blow you away almost literally while it's still in the concept stage razor has managed to take gaming chairs to a whole new level. The chair currently known as Project Brooklyn takes immersion and gaming to a whole new level. It features a deployable 64 surround down OLED display, 4D armrest, hypersense tactile feedback, and a carbon fiber bucket seat with superior economics and yes, it has chroma RGB lights. We asked for the price, but we are unable to get anything useful other than an unofficial off the records, not cheap. Now for more on the latest in gaming culture, check us out at the gamer section. Be sure to hit the like button on this video. Thank you.